This is a quick movie just uh, showing you how to analyze images from phase microscopy. These are typically quite difficult to analyze because of the edges and the illumination techniques. So what we're going to quickly look at is, well, what if I treated this like a dark object thing? Well, look, I have all of these problems because, well, I'm not able to threshold the inside. I'm only able to threshold, in this case, the outside. So what I can actually do is I could say, well, how can I process this image correctly? One other problem I have is a background issue here. So let's start off here and let's do maybe a flattened background. Bright. Go. Okay, so that's nice. Now, let's see. Now I can go here and I can kind of say, well, they're the objects I want. Ignore all the other ones. Don't worry about those for the moment. And if I count, that's pretty good. And also I'll turn on what's called fill holes. So if this object here has objects in it, when I press count, it goes solid. Now I still have a few problems. I still have this problem here and here, and I, I don't have the ability to fill in this hole. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of the objects, say less than a thousand items. Cool. And that's got rid of all the little bits of rubbish. But I still have this problem here. And my problem here is that I can't actually get my object to fully connect. So because it's not fully connected, it's not filling it as a whole. So if I now just say, make a mask of that, now I'm in a binary world, and I will just run a very simple close filter. In fact, I'm going to need to run it again. So a close filter of two. There we are. Now, I've significantly used that close filter to, to swallow up that hole. So if I just press count now, actually, ooh, count bright objects now. There we are. I can now see I've counted every object there. So how do I handle this? Because this clearly is one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Well, the easiest way to handle this is by a cluster. So if I actually do some cluster analysis here, let me just bring these up. You can see that actually the cluster dialog tells me how many objects I have and how many were clusters. And you can read down here, objects in count seven, six of them are single, one of them is a cluster, and we believe four objects are inside the cluster. So we think there are actually 10 objects here. So this is quite a, a simple approach to using uh, phase analysis. Um, so this is one particular example. In fact, what I'll do here is I'll just save these outlines uh, into a file. i just overwrite that one. And we'll go back to this original file. Uh, here we are. Sorry, let me just do that. And I'll load on these outlines. Just so you can see, if I put it to outline, you'll see how well I was able to actually pick out these objects. Okay. I hope that helps, and uh, if you need any more questions, please contact your local sales office or dealer. Thanks very much.